basics of what column core training is and how it's different than what I call moving back core work, which is pretty much all the training methods that you see out there today. Uh, while they all require work and energy, um, their net goal is completely different. Column core training uh, is, uh, is a way to, to, to make your spine act like a controlling system. So when I'm talking about the spine, I'm talking about from your arms up with your tailbone. So basically about 20 vertebrae or pieces that can either move or not. There's really no in between. So we're either moving our spine with our extremities or we're not. So column core training is a unique way to start to actually develop your spine to become a master controlling system versus the way you've been moving your whole life, which is as a master mover. So back injuries and all the other injuries that, that happen in your extremities really come from this moving back system or what I call survival movement, which is something we're taught from the time we're in the womb and it works until it doesn't, until you get an injury, uh, performance is decreased and we see significant weakness in muscles in the extremities and in flexibility too when I test people. So what we're going to do now is just go through a level one exercise on the Kayla core. So, and the Kayla core is part of this column core training system um, where we're going to actually use this column as a feedback loop for our spine to start to learn how to uh, feel like it's a controlling system. So, uh, with the hands and feet hooked in, I'm going to pull my knees up to my chest here. We're actually delivering load through our spine, so top to bottom in this case, as I'm doing this pulling movement, um, to start to build this new map on how to keep the back as a stable or controlling system or what I call column core system. So here I'm pulling up and holding and then moving away. So different than a plank, so when we do planks without this understanding of column core, which all our back actually moves with our extremities. We don't even know we're flexing or extending our spine as we do the, the planking movement or whatever you're doing to um, develop your core. So here I'm going to get, I'm just going to move my arms down, so again I'm putting tension through my spine so as I'm doing this, tension is getting greater as I pull my hands and knees together. And I'm going to pull and hold here, I'm going to hold for about 10 seconds, so tons and tons of non-moving uh, spine work here, creates lots of abdominal activation, and I'm working all the leg flexors in this particular movement, hamstrings, especially medial and hip flexors, and the ankle flexors. Also again working my upper extremities where we're doing kind of like a lat pull down and we'll pull and hold. So there's lots of variations on this uh, piece of equipment. Today's just a simple one exercise movement uh, uh, demonstration today. And so I'm going to now put my hands on the center tube. So by keeping the column close to me, I'm actually running the same uh, line as the spine and I'm starting to build this new, what I call new master controlling map of the spine. So that was a knees to elbow exercise, uh, one of the base movements or level one movements we do. Uh, all the teams that use it, so we got over 20 division one teams that train on the, on the Kaler Corps. We start the athletes on level one movements which are on the ground. So we really start to teach the athlete how to begin to make the, the spine a master controller and make the extremities do all the movement versus allowing the spine to move with the extremities what we do move it, which is pretty much what everybody does until you learn this uh, new Calm Core Training map. So hey, thanks for letting me share. If you want to learn more about Calm Core Training, you can go to the, my website at kaylercore.com uh, or you can go to my Instagram or Facebook page, which are also Kaylercore. Thanks for letting me share. Looking forward to seeing you on the next video.